Welcome to Happy News Network, the mini-sode. We're here to brighten your week while you take a break from doom scrolling. I'm Shayna, and I'm so excited for today's guest. I met this ocean advocate through St. Pete, Florida pages on social media. Miles Featherston Resch is an inspiration for everyone who cares about our oceans, and he's only eight years old. Miles, welcome. It's great to be here. Thanks so much for being here. So Miles, you're eight years old and you're kind of already like Aquaman. Um, How did you become an ocean lover and advocate? Well, two years ago, I was watching Shark Week and I didn't like how we treated our oceans and beaches. So I wanted to do something to help, but the $12 and that ticket bank wasn't going to do what I wanted. So I discussed with my mom what we should do about it. I said, well, I'm going to start a business. And my mom's gave me like this crazy look because how serious should you trust a six-year-old when he says, you want to, I want to start a business. Uh-huh. So that's really how it got started. Very cool. And so what do you do to help save the oceans? Well, I sell shirts, hats, stickers, straws, and straw packs made of recycled or sustainable materials, and I donate all the money I make to organizations that help our oceans. That is really, really cool. And I heard that you also have a book. What is your book called and what's it about? It's called Kids Saving Oceans, Olivia Makes a Difference. It's about this girl named Olivia who wants to help, but not in the way she helps her dad in the kitchen or puts the laundry away. She wanted to help in a big way that would affect the world. And so Very cool. this idea about this class project and she just makes an idea and goes forward with it. Well, that's very neat. It sounds a lot like you, Miles. It's um, kind of started. Yeah. How long did it take you to write that book and make it? Well, I didn't really write it. I had help with Book and Bottle and Tori McGee. She runs the place. And so very that was, cool. I think it took about a few weeks. Maybe. That's good for you, though. We have been so lucky that we've met a couple really proactive uh, kids who really want to make a difference in the world in different ways. And you're the first um, you're the first person we've talked to who's young and wants to make a difference with our oceans. And it's so inspiring to hear all that you're doing. So how can we how can we adults help to save the ocean? What like for people like Kristen who don't even live near an ocean, what can they do? They can maybe look around their homes to see if they have single-use items that they can replace with reusable ones. For example, toothbrushes, shampoo bottles. Yeah. Kristen, you have a neat trick about shampoo that you taught me. Yeah, I've been using bar shampoo for two years. I haven't bought a plastic bottle in two years. And it's my resolution for this coming year, 2021, to eliminate all single-use plastic. So thank you for encouraging me to do that, knowing that that is making a difference. Thanks, Miles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Kristen, you taught me that. So now I use bar shampoo and bar conditioner. And if anyone out there needs it, you can get it at Trader Joe's if Amazon is too far a delivery process. <laughs> um, so Miles, how can people help you save the ocean if maybe they've already done stuff like cut out single-use plastic? How can they make you a better ocean advocate? Well, you can always connect with me at www.kidsaveoceans.com or make a donation. Very cool. And all that money goes to help you with all of your projects. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to ask like a fun question. What's your favorite ocean animal? I have many, but probably one of my favorites is a sea turtle. Yeah. What about sea turtles makes it one of your favorites? I just find them really fascinating. Yeah. Do you um, do you get to go in the Gulf much and go to the beach a lot throughout the year here? I used to a lot. Just when we had on the weekend... We used to go to the beach a lot. Yeah, it's fun. And it's neat sometimes if you get to do water cleanups and ocean cleanups, but it's been a little tricky the last year. So 
I imagine it's pretty great for people who want to make a difference to help you out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any um, special stickers or anything you want to talk about before we um, let everyone know where to find you on social media? Well, I don't really have any special stickers. One of my favorite ones is a guy swimming near a whale shark. Oh, did you, where did you come up with that idea? I come up with the ideas. My mom sketched them out and then we have an illustrator that makes them look they are. That is really cool. I love that you get to work with your mom on that. Yeah. Yeah. Does your mom also like to help save the oceans with you? Yeah. She yeah. just replaces. <laughs> very neat. I am a very big fan of the ocean too. I scuba dive a lot and I really like helping preserve the water as best I can. And it's been really great working a lot with Kristen because she is very eco-conscious and gives me tons of tips. And then I get to discover people like you who are really out there doing all the hard work. So it's been kind of neat to watch it all happen and be part of it. Yeah. Um, Miles, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about? Well, I just want to talk about my goal. It's to raise $1 million by the time I turn 18. And so far, I've donated $18,000. Oh, my gosh. You're you're getting so far into your goal. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So one more time, where can people go to donate to help you out? www.kidssavingoceans.com. Oh, that's so great. Miles, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. You're welcome. Um, We can't wait to follow you and keep following you and see what you do next. Um, You already have done so much. You've written a book. You're saving our oceans and you're doing so much good for the world. Thanks. All right. Well, from all of us here at Happy News Network, I'm Shana. Have a happy day.